Hi, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be using stars and bars to solve and find how many solutions this Diophantine equation right here has. And we have a constraint where, okay, so we're finding how many solutions where w, x, y, and z are non-negative integers. Non-negative meaning these integers could be zero or any integer above that so long as it will satisfy this. So it may seem a little confusing as to how we can convert this Diophantine equation because it seems like algebra, but actually we can use stars and bars to solve this using a very clever little manipulation. So if you notice, 10 is obviously just a bunch of ones added together, 10 ones added together as I have right here. And basically what you do, is you can split up these ones. Like here's an example of that. Let's say we split up, since we have four variables, of course we have three bars, which will split it into four groups for our four variables. So three bars, this is just an example of one way you can split it. And when you split it like this, you have one plus one plus one in this little group right here. That will be three. You can say that's W. Then we have 1 plus 1, that's 2. You can say that's x. 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3. And 1 plus 1, that is 2, and that can be z. As you can see, this is how you convert it into stars and bars. You simply just apply stars and bars to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 10 times to find how many solutions you can get. So let's actually solve this problem now, now that we know what to do. Okay, solving the problem. Just to remember, we have 10 ones, and you can think of these as stars if you like, or objects if it makes it kind of easier to think about. And again, we have four variables, so we have three bars. These three bars will split our ones into four groups for our four variables. 10 ones and three bars, that equals to a total of 13 like items you can think of. So 13, and our three bars, right? So we're going to choose where those three bars go. 13 choose 3, 13 times 12 times 11 over 6. And now if you plug that into a calculator or just do some simple multiplication, you will get 286. So that is how many solutions we have for that Diophantine equation, given that they are non-negative. Here's another variation. So we have the same Diophantine equation from earlier, w plus x plus y plus z equals 10. But let's add a new constraint. How many solutions where w is actually greater than or equal to 2 this time? And the rest of the integers x, y, z are positive, meaning this time they can't be 0, just 1 or anything above. So we can still, of course, solve this with stars and bars. However, we have to take care of these constraints. So let us solve this problem. Just to remember our restrictions, w must be greater than or equal to 2. And then the other variables, x, y, and z, they all must be greater than or equal to 1. That is just what a positive integer is. So now, we can think of each of these variables as, as having their own like box to keep their values or objects in. So let's create some boxes here. And again, to remember, and we have 10 ones, or again, you can think of them as stars or objects, whatever is easier to think about. And so to make sure we account for these restrictions, we can set almost like a default value for each of these boxes. Let's put two stars in W just as a default value. So for sure, it will satisfy the constraint. And anytime we split it up, we'll just be adding more stars, just like so. Same for x, y, and z. They all have to be greater than or equal to 1. So might as well set one star or object to be in each of these to absolutely make sure that it satisfies our restrictions. We have used up five stars by doing though, so we have five left, five ones left to separate, and we still have our three bars, so five plus three is eight. To choose where those three bars go, eight choose three, which is eight times seven times six over three times two times one, 
the 6 cancels with 3 factorial. Therefore, you have 56, which is just 8 times 7. That is how many solutions we have. So, as you can see, using stars and bars is actually extremely simple to solve a seemingly difficult algebra Diophantine equation. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.